So this looks like a winter kind of a trail. Can't even see the end. Well, does it go up right there? All right, welcome back to another hiking adventure. This spot may look familiar to some of you. This is where I signed a hiking adventure off two weeks ago when I went to Little Niagara Falls. The falls are back up that way, down that brook more. So when I finished that hike up, I came down this trail a little to get this shot. But I did not have time to go all the way up the trail. <clears throat> the trail. I did see a comment on a trip report saying that a trail in this area leads up Mac Mountain. And I'm hoping that this trail does end up leading up all the way to Mac Mountain. That would be really nice. But um, we're going to follow this trail and uh, see where it leads. Hopefully up Mac Mountain. But if not, uh, we'll see what's going on up there. Let's get to it. And this trail does appear that it was some form of a road at one point. As we have an old foundation, a cellar hole here, right on trail side. Alright, so we're going to keep on heading up this way. And as we always do, we have entered the pines. It always amazes me how much darker it gets when you go under these. It also sounds like there's some running water coming up. So you're going to keep on going. You're going to come up to that running water. Here, we're going to have a little mini stream crossing to do. You have to love that trickling sound. And we are now really starting to gain some elevation. We're gaining a little bit earlier, but it's about to become more noticeable. So let's get on up. And we have come up to a rather secluded pond out here. say this on a lot of hikes, and I'm going to say it again, it is peaceful right here, right now. Wow, check out this beaver dam. I don't know how well you can see it through the camera, but that is impressive. Alright, a quick update right after that beaver dam. The trail got very narrow right there. It almost looked like it was petering out, but I went through, I found the trail, now we have this. It is looking uh, pretty flooded out. So I'm going to walk up the side here, get over there a bit, and uh, I'll update you more. So this looks like a winter kind of a trail. Can't even see the end. Well, does it go up right there? Might. Might go around the corner. But like I said, too, the trail kind of started petering out, too. So. I, yeah, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna try to get it, like, go up and around. It's very thick woods. And, yeah, I'm just gonna have to turn it around here. And start, uh, heading Heading back the way I came, Sanders Ledge is up, it's kind of up in that direction. So we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to turn it around, we're going to start heading back, and, uh, I don't know, I'll see uh, what happens at the next clip. So I've made my way back to little mini stream crossing, a precursor to what was coming up. So as I've been coming back down, I've been looking around the edges of the uh, of this trail. There are no other trails or even herd paths 
that come off of this trail. There has been a couple of stone walls from times gone by. But yeah, this is literally the only trail, only path in the area. All right, so we followed a trail to see where it would lead, and it led to a cellar hole, a secluded pond, a beaver dam, and a flood. <laughs> so there you go. We did not make it up Mac Mountain, but uh, it was a very nice hike through the woods regardless. So I hope you enjoyed that little hiking adventure. Thank you for watching.